Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be working with some gray nails and I'm using these uh, coffin tips. These are full coverage tips and I would say they are medium to long. It's one of my favorites. They are already shaped. These ones are perfect if you're going to work with uh, gel polish or nail polish because they already shaped, they are perfect, good to go, and you can see how nice they are. So, these are the same ones that they use, that a lot of people use for press on nails. So I think this will be perfect for this nail tutorial. So today we're going to be working with gray nails. It's something that is trending, so we're going to go ahead and do gray nails today. So to, to first start, I want to use foils. So to use foils, I need foil gel, which I'm going to be using this one, which is one of my favorite ones. I'm not going to do foils in all of the nails. I just want to do foil only in about this one here. And I'm just going to do it halfway only, guys. I don't want to do the whole nails and you guys will see why and I put a thin layer and then cure for 60 seconds and I'm going to repeat the same step on this one okay once it's the foil gel cure I'm going to use my foil and I will be using these beautiful uh, foils it's like silver and when you move it around it looks like this very beautiful so we'll be using that and of course it's only going to glue halfway and I have used this foil before um, not for YouTube videos and this gel glue for foils it's amazing you guys will see why I'm just rubbing it making sure I get on the sides making sure it gets all of the sides because sometimes these sides are really bad so I'm just keep rubbing and you can use one of these as well if you have this one this one comes in a kit for like manicure and stuff like that that's where I got that one and once we're done just lift it out and voila let me give you guys a close up Look how pretty that foil looks. So we're going to repeat the same step in the pinky one. Okay guys, so once my two nails have the foil, I'm going to use the not polished glossy net to cover just the foil part because I'm going to be working with gel polish and probably I will be touching the foil area and I, if I don't put the top coat what's going to happen is that it will damage the foil so with the top coat I'm just making sure that it's protected and secure and I can work around it and nothing will happen to the foil this also applies if you want to do acrylic with foils like a number look like the same thing I'm going to do but instead of pol of gel polish just with acrylic it also apply because it will ruin the foil so make sure you put a top coat to prevent the foil from getting ruined so once I'm done I put that in the lab for about 60 to 30 seconds and once we're done with the gloss in the top coat look how pretty this foil looks it looks really really pretty let me you let me keep you guys close like this okay so the next thing will be um, doing the next step on this is um, use the gel polish so to use a gel polish I'm gonna use the brand Beatles and you can get this brand at Amazon it's really cheap and what I did I got a kit of a few of them and they come in different colors so this will help me a lot for the tutorials to have different colors of gel polish so we're going to be using the color 343 and pretty much what I'm going to be doing is um, I'm going to be doing type of like a smile line here 
in the ones that have the foil I want to do like a smile line and on the other ones uh, we just put glitter halfway or something like that um, let's see how it turns out so let's start working one nail at a time no brush and this is a beautiful color guys and the trick with this is that I want it um, make sure you guys are focused okay the trick with this is that I want to make a smile line okay so I'm just gonna go up to like that right make sure I cover the other side and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a brush like this and I am have alcohol here and I'm gonna clean this nail to the way um, kind of like doing like a smile line let me see if I can do it this way and I'm just removing the extra stuff and this is why it is so important for you guys to put top coat on your foil because if you don't put top coat on the foil and you're doing this to create a beautiful uh, smile line with alcohol it's going to ruin the foil okay I'm talking too much let me concentrate because this is not getting where I want it to be so come on beautiful let me grab this side there you go and if your brush kit gets a little bit dry go back and clean that just like that and clean the foil clean on the sides make sure the sides are clean and just like that you have your smile line beautiful and if, if it's not perfect that's fine take your time make sure you fix it just like that and we will go ahead and cure this under the lamp okay so after I cure this is how it's looking the smile line so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna repeat the same step I did here I'm gonna repeat it here okay so once we have the smile line um, and cure and everything I'm gonna start working with the rest of the nails and with the rest of the nails I'm just gonna do uh, the full yellow polish this beautiful gray color I'm just gonna put it like this and don't worry if you touch the skin because you can always go with one of these brushes or any of your favorite brushes with a little bit of alcohol and you can clean all the mistakes you have done okay very simple nothing to panic and I'm gonna do the same thing on this one just put the same color all over the nail just like that and it's looking very very good I don't think I need to do two um, coats um, I think it looks beautiful I don't, I don't think I need to do two coats guys what do you think? Y'all think I need to do two coats? I don't know. I think they look beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and cure that in the lamp for about 60 seconds. Okay, so these nails are cured in the lamp. Look how beautiful this color look. I love it. Okay, so the next step will be this one. So for this one, I want to do something different. Uh, for this one, we're going to use the same color, but we only want to take it halfway. Let me show you guys. So I'm just going to put the color. Okay. 
and maybe we can do half so to do half I will say let's just do it up to there and with the brush you can clean like a straight line so don't worry if it's not perfect now you're going to come with your brush a little bit of alcohol on the brush always and you're going to decide which way you're going to go you can go halfway like this on your nail I think I want it more higher than that um, yeah let's do a little bit higher in color so let me put more color just like that and I want to do like a high line so that will be let's do it from here perfect you guys see how easy was that make sure you have alcohol in the brush not too much and clean that up and then you will have a perfect surface it's like that um, what's it called the knife technique where you do it with um, and you use one of these sacto um, blades but you're just doing it with the brush very easy very easy to do and I'll make sure I clean the, the clear one the clear top and it's a very sharp um, line and we go over the line one more time before we decide to cure and once we're happy, we will cure that in the lamp for like 60 seconds. Okay, so now we're going to work on this one. And if you guys see that on this area, it's like this, that's because of the alcohol. But with a top coat, you will not be able to see it. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to work with this beautiful glitter that I have here. And I got this glitter from a company that I really don't recommend. So I'm not going to tell you guys from where I got it. And the reason why is because I placed my order in November 20. And whoever is in charge of shipment, they waited all the way to December 20, uh, December 15 to send the order. And the order got by the end of December almost I think it was the, the 2nd of January that I received the order so the shipping is really bad the customer service is really bad so I don't recommend this company so I'm not gonna share from where I got this glitter but pretty much it's uh, fine not fine but like little pieces of glitter so you guys can see uh, it's really pretty it's really sad that their customer service is really bad because I had to put even a dispute because it was like weeks and weeks and I never got an item and they were not answering my emails and stuff like that so I honestly don't recommend that company um, so I'm going to use this beetle polish and this one is in the color 340 and this one will help me to adhere the glitter and it's pretty much like a silver glitter as well so this is how we're going to do it Okay, we are going to work on this one first. Let me zoom you guys in so you guys can have a closer look. And we're going to put it only in the area where the gray is not. So pretty much in the clear area. That's where we want to place this beautiful silver glitter. And you guys can see how slowly I'm doing this. I'm just patting the glitter there and look how beautiful so while that glitter is wet I'm gonna dip my brush in this beautiful glitter here and I'm just gonna put it here and it is sad because it is a beautiful glitter 
but I was not the only one complaining about my order being late. There was a lot of people that placed orders and they were complaining on their social media. And the owner of the company started deleting the comments, you know, because it's a private owned business, like, you know, small business. So there you have the idea. So that's enough of that. Let me continue with this. And it looks really pretty, guys. And once you're done, make sure you're curing the lamp for about 30 seconds. So one touch cure. Um, I want to work with this ones. Okay, guys. So this is how they look so far. I love this one. How this one end up looking. So I don't think I will put more glitter in this too. Because I want to put some bling bling. Um, so let's go ahead and find what type of bling I'm going to use. Okay guys, so I have some bling here and I got this bling from um, Amazon. It came in a pack of like, I think it was like 50 or 48 of them. And I'm talking about this ones here. Very pretty. Let me zoom you guys in. And they were not expensive at all. It was just like a bag with a bunch of them. I think it was like 48 of them. And also, I'm going to be using these beautiful rhinestones. And they are not Swarovski, but can you guys see how much they shine? And they are not Swarovski, okay? So, meaning that they're more cheaper then Swarovski uh, rhinestone. So I highly, highly suggest this one. I will post all the links in the description box to where I got all this stuff. And I'm gonna be using the Not Polish uh, Super Diamond Glue Gel. This came in their um, mystery box. So let's go ahead and get started. R to make it come out of the tube. And this is how it came with all the scratches, which was like, uh, you know. So the thing with this gel is that it's really hard to press on like this. It's really hard for it to come out. That's the only thing I will say. So I'm going to put this beautiful rhinestone on that gel. Just like that. And before I cure this, I like to go over, make sure it's going to cover the whole thing just like and make sure it is straight and once we make sure did I put it wrong mm, yes oh, 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 I put it wrong guys it should go like this there you go okay and once we make sure it is straight I'm gonna flash cure and then later I will put it in the lamp. The thing with flash cure is that you secure the rhinestone in place. She's not gonna move after you flash cure. And this lamp, guys, is only $10. It's only $10 in Amazon and there's a lot of website that have them like a $9.99. Also, you can go to Joann's, you can go to Hobby Lobby, any of those stores and they will have it trust me i've seen it there i got this one on nail boxes subscription box that's how i got mine and i'm just flash curing this so it'll move around and i hit it like this and that's how i know it is cured so the next one i'm just going to put it above that so I'm gonna put a little bit again on top and this one is smaller so I don't need too much and I will put it here just like that making sure it is straight 
and I will go ahead and flash cure. And before I flash cure, I forgot, let me make sure that I place it down the gel because you don't want that chunk showing on the side. And just flash cure. Once we're done, um, we're going to repeat the same process on this one. Okay, so once that's flash cure, we're going to work with this one. And for this one, the same thing, guys. We're just going to put a big block in here. And we're going to add this beautiful bowl right in there. And we make sure it is straight. Grab your brush. Make sure that it is secure. And once you're happy, flash cure. Okay, and we cannot leave the other ones just without any bling bling. So I'm going to add more bling gel. It's a bling gel super diamond glue. Kind of like at the bottom part here. Just like that. We're going to add a little bit here too. And... I'm going to pick with these little ones. Mm -mm. There's a lot of big ones here. I just want little ones. Little ones. Oh my god, it was a little one. And these rhinestones are so shiny, guys. And I need to add more on this. A little bit more in there. Okay, so before we finish, I want to grab a clean brush so I can clean the gel glue, diamond glue, whatever it's called. Okay, and what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to finish with a top coat and we are using glossing it from Not Polish. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use gloss in it and go over the nails. Okay guys, so now I'm going to use the Kiara Sky Deep Essential Norwich Oil and I'm going to go ahead and put some oils on these cuticles, make it look beautiful. 
So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, subscribe if you're not. I have more videos coming your way. Um, if you have any suggestions, leave it in the comment down below. I will be reading your comments. If you have any questions about this video, also leave it in the comment section. I will be reading your comments as well. And I hope you enjoy this video. These are uh, great nails. They turn out very beautiful, as well as the foil. Um, I think it looks beautiful because when I move the nail, you guys can see that it kind of, of it goes in and out the color, like it has some green in it, and it looks very, very pretty. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.